Howdy Duty. My name is Susie and today I thought I would share with you how to make fabric spray on starch. I've got two very simple recipes that I'm going to show you the difference in use for both. And this really comes as a special request from my dearest friend Michelle who is an ironer. She loves to iron. It's one of her relaxing getaway spaces. She irons everything including her sheets. But she's had difficulty finding spray on starch. So I guess spray on starch along with ironing has really fallen out of fashion considering we have all these permanent press, wrinkle-free synthetic fabrics that do not require ironing. But if you have linens or cottons, then you're going to want to use some of this spray starch because not only does it give your clothes body, but it also helps to repel the dirt. Also, a very special science project that I've saved for the end of the video, and it, this is really amazing. I was blown away when I saw it, but I'm going to show you how to make oobleck, also known as a non-Newtonious fluid. And wait till you see this. You're going to want to try it yourself, and I think this would make a great conversation piece at your next dinner party. So I've got two recipes. One recipe is using vodka. The other one is using cornstarch. For the vodka recipe, we're going to use one ounce of potato vodka, and you need potato vodka because it has starch in it, to every one cup of filtered or distilled water. You don't want any additional minerals in your water because you're going to be spraying this and ironing it into your clothes. And then one or two drops of your favorite essential oil. Now, I'm just making about one cup because my spray bottles are small. The other thing that's key is get a spray bottle that has a fine mist with a wide spread. That's going to give you the best coverage when you go to iron. So that's all we do. I mix the water, the vodka, a couple of drops of essential oil, and I filled up my bottle. And for our cornstarch, we're going to, this is going to take a little bit more time. We need a pot. We need a little bowl. We're going to need four cups of distilled or filtered water and one tablespoon of cornstarch. So we're going to start with four cups of distilled water or filtered water, one tablespoon of cornstarch. We've got our pot and we're just going to add a little bit of the cold water to the cornstarch. And we're just going to dissolve that. So our water is boiling and that took about three minutes. Water is boiling. Just going to give this another stir. I'm going to turn my stove to medium and then I'm going to pour in my slurry. And now we're just going to cook this until it thickens and becomes clear. So it's been about five minutes and that cornstarch is totally dissolved. The liquid is clear and it's got a viscosity to it. So it's just slightly thick. And now we're going to let this cool down. Now the solution is cooled down and there is a certain thickness to it and it has become a little bit cloudy again. Now that my solution is cooled, I'm going to add three drops of essential oil. Oops, my label's coming off. In my particular mister, it holds, oh, it looks like it holds two cups. But I'm not using, I'll store in a jar. There you go. Your vodka starch spray will last indefinitely because it has the vodka in it. Whereas, whereas your cornstarch is going to have a shorter lifespan, so check it if you've kept it for more than a month and just keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't go bad. So now we're gonna go over to the ironing board and I'm gonna show you the difference between using the vodka spray on starch with the cornstarch spray on starch. 
So let's go over to the ironing board and I'm gonna show you the difference between the two. I'm gonna add two to three drops to my vodka solution. Remember to shake this before using as well. Okay. So I'm just using this cotton napkin to show you the body that you will get with the two different starches. And you can see this is very flimsy. So on this side, we're going to use our corn starch. And on this side, we're going to use our vodka. And I just gave it a light mist. And I could smell that lemongrass. It smells great. For corn starch, and I just gave it a light mist. Obviously, if you use it again, it'll stiffen it even more. Then in the center of our napkin, I'm not gonna use anything, anything because I wanna see the difference between the two. So I'm just gonna remove any corn starch from my iron. And I'm just gonna iron without anything else. And now on this side, I'm going to use my vodka starch. So I'm just gonna let that dry a bit. So you can see that this is the napkin that has the starch. This is the napkin part that has nothing added to it. And this is the napkin part that we used the vodka. So we have vodka starch. And you can see it has body, but it still moves. This is no starch. And there may have been a little bit of starch in there before, but you can see it's much wobblier than the vodka starch. And then we have the potato starch and you can see how much more starch that is. That basically, it holds up the napkin. This gives it a nice fold and this is just wobbly. But the stiffness of the fabric or the body of the fabric isn't the only consideration. What happens when you iron on something that's dark and black? So what I'm going to use, show you on this apron, and I'm gonna spray this side with the vodka. So we'll start with the vodka first. And we're gonna use the corn starch on this side. Now let's wait for that to dry. So here is the corn starch, and actually it's quite good. I thought it might leave some little white spots, but it really doesn't. And you can see this is almost stiff like paper. And the vodka side, of course, doesn't leave any spots. So you can see the difference in the body. See that this is much firmer with the corn starch. So let's see what happens when you wrinkle it. It'll keep some of those wrinkles. Whereas the vodka, it's more pliable. So it does wrinkle, but with the weight, of the fabric or the clothing that you have on, it seems to smooth out better. So those are the different properties of using the vodka or the cornstarch. Now let's go over to the other side. I'm gonna show you this amazing science project that is gonna make you look like a magician. So we're ready for our science experiment, and this is really amazing. So all I've got here in my bowl is twice as much cornstarch as I do plain water, and I've mixed it to create a liquid, or so you think it's a liquid. This is also known as an oblic. In more scientific terms, this is known as a non-Newtonian fluid, which means it's both 
liquid and solid. So Newtonian fluid be water, juice, honey, it's always liquid, it never turns solid. But let me show you what happens with cornstarch and water. We're gonna need a close up for this. So when I put my fingers into this solution, you can see it's a loopy goopy mess. Right? But if I grab this as a ball with my hands and I roll it around and roll it around and roll it around, whoops. I roll it around really fast. It turns into a ball, but as soon as I stop, it's a big, goopy mess. Now I gotta clean this up. It's probably a good idea to have a tray underneath your science experiment. Let me just wash my hands. So what happens is when I move slowly, it stays liquid, but as soon as you put extra pressure and move it around quick, it turns into a solid. So here is the second part of the experiment. You can see it's the same bowl. If you move it around slowly, it's a liquid. So I'm just going to use my meat tenderizer to show you. I'm gonna use the bottom of it. You see it's clean. So I'm gonna hit this very firmly and quickly, and we'll see whether or not it stays as a solid. And it does. There you go. Isn't that amazing? But if I go in slowly, it turns into a goopy mess again. So you can see that this is such a cool science project that it doesn't have anything to do with starching our clothes, but you can see Woo! from solid to fluid. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a like. If you try this and you like it, I hope you share it. And if you'd like to see more content, I hope you subscribe. One more for the road. Roll it up, roll it up. It's nice and firm, roll it up. But as soon as you stop, whoa.